Hi there, I'm Ignacio Guardia, pcn 3 ds Technical Support Manager. While we look for a new FFS 3D printer, the vast amount of information can be a little bit overwhelming. But don't worry, today I'm going to condense everything into the 5 most important things that you need to consider. Point number 1, the build volume. Build volume refers to the maximum size of a model that a 3D printer can produce in a single print, a super important factor to consider if your company requires the printing of large parts. If the part you want doesn't fit, be aware you will need to print parts separately and assemble them in post-production. Point number 2. Dual extraction. Dual extraction refers to the ability of an FFS 3D printer to use two different filaments in the same print job, unlocking with these print combinations, such as multi-materials and multicolor prints. There are currently two types of dual extrusion on the market. While regular dual extrusion architecture consists of two print heads moving together in the same carriage, with independent dual extrusion, or IDEX, the two print heads are moving independently on the x-axis. IDEX prevents cross-contamination and opens up production potential. In FFET 3D printing, choosing the right filament is vital, as material requirements can change depending on the final use of the part. Materials need configuration, and the configuration may vary. There are some 3D printers that cannot be configured to print some filaments that are otherwise available on the market. Users need to know that the filament that they are planning to print is accepted by their printer. This means that the printer can reach the melting temperature of the filament. There are some manufacturers that only accept filaments of their own brand as a way of guaranteeing good results, reducing the range of possibilities. However, there are some 3D printers that accept filaments from any brand, offering a better printing versatility. Number 4. Auto Calibration Calibration has a name for itself as one of the trickiest steps in the procedure of obtaining the best functioning in systems of all kinds of equipment. That's why auto-calibration is a key factor when choosing a 3D printer. This technology takes away the need for a time-consuming manual process at the beginning of your print job. With the use of a piezoelectric sensor, you can always rely on the perfect first layer adhesion and reduce your printing setup time significantly. By taking away manual operation and checking procedures, auto-calibration leaves no room for error and printing failures, and guarantees precision and a good first layer adhesion every time. So, sit back, relax, and let auto calibration do all the work for you. And point number 5, the dehumidification chamber. Moisture is a great enemy of 3D printing, as it is a prominent characteristic of most thermoplastic materials. Even a small percentage of humidity can negatively affect most filaments and, therefore, the end result of the print job, not only through imperfections which appear on the printing surface, but also damaging its mechanical properties. Having a printer compatible with an accessory that effectively keeps the filament dry, ensuring the filaments maintain their mechanical properties throughout the whole 3D printing process is very important. Correctly storing your filament will have, then, a significant effect in the overall quality of your printed parts and extend the service life of your materials. I hope that all this information has been useful and helped you choose a new FFF 3D printer. See you next time!